Hello again, everyone. Uh, there may be some dissenters on what I'm about to show you. And if so, let's hear it. Let's find out what your opinion might be when we get done. As most of you know, who follow my videos, uh, you know that I'm temporarily out of the video making process unless something oddball comes up. If something odd comes up, I, I just can't pass it up. Uh, like we did, a, we're in the middle of doing a a series on raising ham radio antennas, uh, what the antennas are, things of that nature. Something strange, something different uh, than your, you know, your run of the mill, let's fix the radio, let's change the capacitors, things like that, things that most of you already know how to do. Well, something else came up. And I said, you know, I really do need to, to pass this on to folks. I have a tube that I could not identify. This is it right here. And I didn't know what I looked. I've tried everything to find a number in that tube. It's just not there. I tried, you know, the old hair oil trick. I've tried putting it in the freezer. I tried ultraviolet light. I've tried everything I can think of to find that number. Couldn't couldn't do it. So I, I put a posting on the antique radio forum, and I asked those guys there. I said, anybody know what this tube might be? And uh, it came back that. They thought it was pretty much uh, mutually uh, agreed that it was either a 77 tube or a 78. Well, I didn't know. Well, Norm Leal, there were several other tube uh, recommendations, but they got eliminated, okay? It boiled down to a 77 or a 78. Norm Leal, he's one of the ARF members uh, that's been there for years and years. Very, very sharp individual. You know, he ranks right up there with my, my personal mentor, uh, <clears throat> Brandon, up in Detroit. Those two guys know everything about everything. Anyway, I thought it might be a good idea to bring it up in the forum also. Maybe it'd be educational. So Norm said, I'll tell you what, John, basically what he said was uh, stick in your tube tester if you have one, and then do a bias change on the control grid, which would be this wire going right here to the control grid on top of this tube. And he said, uh, and of course, on this tester, my bias change would be moving this knob right here. He said that the 77 tube would be more sensitive to voltage changes on the control grid. Well, okay, fine. Well, let's see how that works out. Uh, I've got the tube in there. It's been warmed up. And this, I'm going to test it as a 77 first. And <clears throat> the tube supplement uh, chart data supplement is what I had to use for it because it's, the 77 uh, was not in that one. So first thing we're going to do is test for shorts. Just going to rotate this knob all the way around position to position. No shorts. And I've got my uh, bias set at 14 right now. And we're going to go ahead and pull the knob and see what happens. Well, it reads really good. Okay, it's supposed to read where is that baby? It was supposed to read uh, 0.1 to 1.1 or something like that. It's way up there. It's real good. We're in, we're in good shape on that one. Now, according to Norm, like I said, a small voltage change on the grid should cause a large movement in the needle if it's a 77. So let's see what happens here. I, I'm going to have to pull this knob. This is going to be really interesting. I'll pull this knob with my thumb and then just barely move the voltage uh, wheel with my finger. Let's see what happens. I'm at 14. I'm at 15. Okay, nothing's happening right now. It's going down. Let's go the other way. 14. I'm down to 10. Not a whole lot functioning right there like that. Kind of strange. All right, let's set this thing up for a 78. All right, I've got everything set up for a 78 tube, and uh, it required 17 on the bias for this one. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, let's go ahead and pull our lever. Well, this is kind of hard. I wish I had slightly longer hands. Okay, we're doing pretty good on the tube uh, strength, as you can see. And uh, let me see now. We're supposed to be using uh, <coughs> scale number two, which is the, this scale right here. All right. The second scale down but we're not concerned so much about that it's, it's a strong tube let's move the let's move the bias again let's go up from 17 to 18 almost nothing's happening let's go down we're down to 13 
okay almost nothing's happening I would say offhand based on what Norm Leal said and based on what we just found this is not a 78 tube it's a 77 until next time this is John